Our ancestors used language to communicate stories and parables throughout history. Noam Chomsky's 1968 lecture, Language and Mind, he discusses that through language we evolved, communicating and expressing thought assisted us in our development. Every movement that was worth dying for involved blood, sweat, and ink. Language and writing are just as important to mankind as our digits and limbs. Gory Vidal once said, as societies grow decadent, the language grows decadent too. We can use language as a weapon to destroy minds like Adolf Hitler. Hitler used language in his propaganda to convince the masses to turn the other cheek. It can also be used to liberate oneself like Max, Malcolm X did in Charlestown State Prison. Malcolm X used the dictionary to unfetter himself and his people. The United States employed the use of Navajo language with code talkers that helped defeat the Japanese in World War II. The language of music, or more so hip-hop, has brought together various cultures and races with lyrics added to beats. Language is war. Language is peace. Language is truth. Language is lies. Language is death, and language is life. What we choose to write and to whom it may concern are the questions to ask yourself when expressing thought through personal writing. I am the rebel child in my never-ending quest to be good. I am from a string of addicts and alcoholics, the redemption from a drugged-out family and unreliable relatives, beaten and slain by the dragons and diseases in their own mind. I am a con man's daughter and a single mother's child. I have my mother's capacity to care for others, sometimes a little too much. I am her constant and endless hard work, her efforts to make something, anything, better. I am my mother's dreams. And telling boxing glories, glory stories while drinking their drip coffee. I am from a tradition I am from traditional German dishes that included um, ingredients typified from the agriculture around the Black Forest and Rhine River, including spanner furkel, split roasted pig, and Dresner Stolen, a I'm holiday. An ancestor fruit of those dish who seed. suffered religious persecution in Europe during the early sixteenth century. I am a descendant of my forefathers who were once great sailors and poets. I am of those who sailed across a vast ocean in pursuit of a better life. I am from the individuals who colonized early America and faced many hardships. I am from those who settled in Plymouth and made the New World their new home. I am from a bloodline that has held its roots in American I history. I am the blood of my Middle Eastern ancestors who lived on a continent a world away. I am a fragment of a war-torn nation that no longer recognizes itself. I am of those who witnessed how religion has not bonded but shredded its country to destruction. I am the fishing boat on the waves of the Mediterranean Sea which brought home the flounder for the traditional Syrian feasts. I am of a seaside town, Latakia, whose beaches sparkle with white sand complemented by, deep, by the deep blue waves of the sea. I am a family who enjoyed an abundance of fruit ripened in the warmth of the Mediterranean Sea. I am a descendant from an American hero. I am proud to say I'm free free from all the terrible things this world was once like. I am proud to have relations with a Civil War soldier. I am here now through the courage and strength of my ancestry. I am a descendant and I am free. I am from my great grandma's maturity. I am from the nine-year-old girl who had to cook and support her siblings while her parents worked the farm. who has learned that his descendants are of a Cherokee tribe. I am one who knows little about our history, but I will tell everything someday. I'm from a mixture of two small worlds better known as South Dakota and Wyoming. I'm consistent of the brightness of my father and the peace of my mother. I'm a man that my parents raised in the Emerald Isle. I am the fortitude of my forefathers assimilating into the American culture. I am the will of my father's father who started a family in the American Midwest. I am the courage of my grandfather who took up mining to make ends meet. I am the land of my, that my grandfather called home the land as it saw fit that I would never meet him. Names and stories. And the face made of twigs from each branch of my family tree, wondering sometimes if my eyes are mine or just a piece of someone else. I am my eyes, having seen events of joy and pain. I am from a grandfather who, who both fought in separate wars, but their honor remains equal. I am from the horrific memories brought in to my great-grandfather's life through World War II. I am from the tear gas, the automatic machine guns, and the bombs as a product of war. I am from Agent Orange, a gas my, gr a gas my great grandfather released that will affect many generations and many more to come in the future. I am, I am the girl born into a single parent home. 
I am the daughter who didn't know her father. I am a girl who loved the world regardless. I am the daughter born of a close family ties and outstanding love. I am of a grandfather who never knew his biological parents. I am from his perseverance to find and know them. I am the girl who made the first contact. I am the girl with the strength to meet her biological father. I am from a grandmother's child of mixed high. heritage, which makes me understand understanding of many people from many cultures. I am a child of a typical family with a mother, father, and a sister, which makes me appreciate and desire close and trusting relationships. I am a person who grew up with friends that I've known all my life, which makes me confident and makes it easy for me to meet new people. I don't do that much talking these days, these days, these days I sit and think a lot about the things that I forgot to do for you, hey, and all the times that I had the chance to 